Oh my god, I only have like six minutes. Are you kidding me? Six minutes and I'm not even done my foundation. What's up YouTube world and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name's Athena and you're about to watch another episode in my brand new series, Try It With Athena. Today I'm going to be trying Sabrina Carpenter, the singer slash actress. I'm going to be trying her 10 minute makeup natural routine slash tutorial here with you guys. Now this is going to be a little bit of a struggle for me because I never accomplish my makeup in under 10 minutes. So I'm really curious to see if I can challenge myself to finish 10 minutes or less a whole makeup look. Now I went ahead and I wrote down step by step how she does her makeup. So I'm gonna be following those exact steps when I do my own makeup and see how it works out. Because I also know that we all have our own makeup routine so it's gonna be really fun to try somebody else's routine. So let's go ahead and get started. So she said that when she gets ready, she prefers to do her makeup in front of natural light. So I'm sitting in my living room in front of some serious natural light. I have these huge windows behind me, which is perfect. So check for natural light. The 10 minute begin. Okay, you guys can see that. Okay, instructions. First thing is concealer. So I'm gonna use two concealers. This is um, one from the brand uh, Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Retoucher in shade number seven. So I'm gonna use this first because it's a little bit dark. And I'm gonna use the second concealer to lighten it up a little bit. So I never use concealer first. I always use it second. But that's, that's the fun of today's video, trying something new, right? My Pro Conceal, this is in the shade Medium Beige. Pro Conceal, this concealer is literally less than $10. It's like the least expensive concealer I've ever owned and I actually love it so much. I've had this tube for a while, so a little bit goes a long way. So if you're looking for some really inexpensive concealer, definitely try this one. Now I'm gonna take my little handy dandy foundation brush, blend it all in. Honestly, I have been getting so much sun. I'm so grateful because it has it has been so hot lately outside. But literally, like as of like two weeks ago, not even, it was literally snowing. I live in Toronto, Canada, and our spring has been all over the place. Um, so just a little bit ago, it was snowing so crazy and cold and windy. And now it's beautiful. Feels like I'm on vacation which makes me very happy. Very, very happy. I've been going for nice long walks like every single day, getting some fresh air. It's good for the soul, you know? Next, she does foundation. So for foundation, I'm going to use Can't Stop, Won't Stop from NYX. This is in the shade Warm Honey. This is my favorite foundation. If you have oily skin, like combination oily skin and you like a full coverage foundation without your skin feeling extremely dry then i would say try this one out because i've been i've been it took me so long to find a foundation that i really liked and i've been using this one since they came out with it and it's been a few years so and the fact that it's less than like 25 dollars again really affordable I feel like in her video, like her foundation literally took two seconds to apply, but she has like flawless skin. For me, it takes a little bit longer to apply my foundation, so I'm trying to go as quickly as possible. Oh my god, I only have like six minutes. Are you kidding me? Six minutes and I'm not even done my foundation. Oh. Why is it taking so long to blend? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're almost blended, we're almost blended. Blend, complete, foundation done. I feel like it took like 100 years. Okay, next she does bronzer. So I have the same bronzer that she uses but in the darker shade. This is again from the brand Charlotte Tilbury. Um, just using my angled contour brush. Put a little bit of this contour on. With this product, you, the little bit goes a long way. You can be really light handed. And you really want to make sure you diffuse it. She goes a little bit on the forehead, like pretty much the perimeter of her face. Okay, a little bit on the jawline. Then she uses blush. So I have this blush from MAC. It's called Telling Glow. And you use a nice like fluffy brush. 
smile, apples of the cheeks. So she also does this technique where she takes it and she like swipes over her nose and goes to the other side. Like this little, which I never put blush on my nose, so. But it looked cute on her, so let's see. Can you even see the blush? I feel like you can't see. I just paused the camera really quickly because I noticed that my phone turned off. So you can see I have 2 minutes and 20 seconds left and I have a long way to go. So I have no idea how I'm going to finish this in 2 minutes. Okay, so the next thing, the next thing after blush is eyeshadow. So, okay, I have my eyeshadow here. This is from the brand Charlotte Tilbury in the color Dolce Vita. This is what the palette looks like. Maybe I should just use this one right here. We're going to go for a really natural bronzy brownie look so I'm gonna one eye she uses the same eye color all over her eyelid and then another color in her crease but she uses like an iridescent like brighter and lighter shadow on her base she also puts that in her as a highlight as well this one's a little bit too dark for a highlight so I would need one more but she only used two colors, so I'm only going to use two colors. Oh my god, a minute, 18 seconds? Are you kidding me? Okay, 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 okay. Next, what is this? I'm going to use this, this Dolce Vita. I'm going to use the little darker one in my crease. No way. Why? Like, why? Why is time going so quickly? See, I don't know how she does this in 10 minutes. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> how much time? Four seconds? No, 39 seconds. Okay, eyeshadow complete. Now she uses, next is mascara. Same mascara she uses. This is from this brand Charlotte Tilbury. She has these long, beautiful lashes. I have these stumpy lashes, but you gotta work with what you have. Amen? How much time do I have? 12 seconds! Uh. Oh, um, well then. Okay, so that was a fail. You can see here that I didn't finish my makeup and it's already been 10 minutes, but that's okay. I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take me to do the rest. So, okay, I'm gonna put my stopwatch on. I'm gonna start my stopwatch and see how much overtime I'm gonna fall into. Okay, so eyeshadow's done, mascara's done. Even though my mascara looks horrible right now. After mascara, she does a highlighter, so I'm gonna use my highlighter from the brand MAC and it's Gold Deposit is the color. This is my favorite highlighter. Now for a little highlight. And she doesn't contour her nose, so that's... I always contour my nose. It's like my eyebrows and my nose contour are like the two things that I have to have done or else my makeup doesn't feel complete. She goes in with a little bit of uh, setting powder. I'm getting, we're using the same product. This is from the brand Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder in shade three. So you use this for like any shiny areas. Also, you just use it to like set your makeup so it lasts like extra long. Perfect, just a little bit. She hydrated her lips, so I'm gonna use my Nivea Chapstick. Then eyebrows. So she uses Anastasia, an Anastasia brow product. I'm going to just use my MAC Styler in the color Spiked. So she starts by brushing up her brows and then she just fills in like any sparse areas. So she has like these beautiful, thick, naturally full eyebrows. And my eyebrows are the opposite. They're really sparse. So my eyebrows take me quite a while to do, but I'm already like three minutes in overtime, so I'm gonna make this so quick. I tried to fill them in like as soft as possible, so I don't want the first thing people to see is my eyebrows being filled in. I just want them to think that I woke up like this. She uses eyeliner. 
I have this stumpy little eyeliner. There's barely anything left. You can see it's like one of my favorite lip liners. It's from the, bra from the brand MAC and it's the color Spice. I'm not afraid to overline. Especially my top lip because my top lip is it's on the smaller side, so I make I like to make it look a little bit bigger. Here then lipstick, I'm gonna use the color Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. And then she pats it in with her finger. I guess to soften it out a little bit. And she uses a lip gloss. I'm going to use this lip gloss. It is a plumping lip gloss from the brand Sephora, like it's from Sephora Collection, in the shade 2. It is called Outrageous. She said that she, she made a comment and she said that she, like, everybody has something from Fenty Beauty in their makeup collection. I'm like, not me. I'm ashamed to say it, but I don't have anything from Fenty Beauty. I mean, right away my lips start to tingle. Last, she uses a setting spray. I have this setting spray from Lunar Beauty. So I'm going to stop the time at 8 minutes and 11 seconds. So that took me 18 minutes basically to do something that takes her only 10 and I was rushing. It is crazy how some people can do their makeup in 10 minutes. Like I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe if I had really thick eyebrows it would be a little bit different because this is what takes the longest. I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see the look. Just really natural and pretty. And all right, guys, that is it for today's video. As you already know, it was a fail because I did not finish my makeup in under 10 minutes. It took me 18 minutes. But hey, A for effort, right? Don't forget to smash that button if you liked today's video. Drop a comment below and let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. And also, let me know how long it takes you to get ready. Do you take longer than I do? Do you take about 20 minutes? Do you take 10? Do you take five? I'm really curious to hear from you guys. So don't forget to leave a comment below if you haven't already subscribe because I post content each and every single week thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now